the quarterfinals of the National Science and Maths Quiz. A clash of the brightest brains uh, is going on now. And we can catch all the action live on Joy News at 10 a.m. Well, usually at 10 a.m. Uh, from Thursday, it started until Saturday, the 30th of June, when we'll have the final. If you miss any of the contests, please catch the rebroadcast on Sunday. Um, and of course, the hashtag is NSMQ on Joy News. Um, it's brought to us by the kindness of Isway Savings and Loans, Newmont Ghana Gold Limited, Kingdom Books, as well as Key Brilliant Soap from Unilever and Pens World, producers of exotic pens, uh, not forgetting Papa's Pizza. And of course, I'm glad we can go live to Legon where Maxwell Agbagba does not take his eyes off the action and can bring us all of the detail of what we've missed so far. Do we have Maxwell? That's right. Well, Ted School um, in the KNUST SHS. At the end of the contest, Presec, um, Fan Spin School, you had 50 points, and then Presec Legon, they had um, 34. Yeah. 34, 34 um, points. Did you expect the margin to be that big? In fancy film school. <laughs> I, I said the night before that mm. um, it was an obvious win for fancy film. Oh, really? You saw yeah. this coming? Yes, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Five time winners per sec. You've no, won it in fancy films. In fancy films, you've lost it. Uh, you won it only twice. That's history. We're talking about the current <laughs> form of the students on stage, you understand. Okay. I looked at them in the first um, contest mm. and I, I, need, I, I needed um, just a few um, minutes to really assess the potentials and the weaknesses of that team. Mm. And unfortunately for them, one of their weak areas happens to be our strong um, areas. Mm. And therefore I knew that we were going to beat them very comfortably. We didn't mm. want the place to be that noisy. That's why we started it very early in the round one. And we kept them very quiet. Mm. They'd only sink to say thank you to us at the end of the contest. I saw it coming. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm not going to say you should tell us what the strategy is, but are you able to share with us, uh, I mean, your strength, the strength and the weakness of the Infant Spam School team? I'll tell you the strength and I'll leave the weaknesses to others. <laughs> okay. They are very composed on stage. Yeah, we saw that. And mm. and um, they, they are very serious with whatever yeah. they yeah. do. Yeah. They take instructions as we advance it to them. Mm. And um, you, you saw they were really giving the questions, um, they needed attention, and mm. the answers were forthcoming. Yeah. That is all I would say. Maybe I can tell you more at the end of your competition. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me find out from Melvin. Melvin, um, you are one of the contestants um, for Infants Pim, you know, um, school. Tell me, what, what kind of training? I, I mean, you've been with um, the, two, the two others who were on stage, you know, yesterday. You've been training um, together. Tell me, how rigorous is the training? See, everything you have to do well requires character and discipline. So, we, we invest what we need to invest into it. We mm. invest as much. It's, it's, it's a big deal, the National Science and Math Quiz. So mm. We put our all into it and yeah, expect the best. Expect the best. Okay. So, in your semi finals, um, you're going to come up, um, you're coming up against uh, Adisadel College. Adisadel College and then Ghana National College. I mean, all three schools from the central region. I call it a battle for supremacy, um, you know, in the central region. You saw the Adisco boys, you know, yesterday. Do you think Infancy Pim School is in better standing to beat them? Thank you. Yes, we are. Mm. Um, you are calling it a battle for supremacy. Yeah. Uh, it's a battle that's already been determined. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it two before. Uh, this is an old fool, you know. Okay. And then uh, National uh, is beginning to put themselves in that category as well. <laughs> we don't want it to be so. But uh, if, if they push us, we will try and then put them in another uh, category as such. Uh. We, we, we met um, back in Cape Coast in one of our regional um, competitions. Okay. We were able to beat them. So mm. we know that uh, we'll be able to beat them as well. Our disco also has um, its own strength. National has its own strength. And, mm. um, it's not going to be as obvious as that for what we say, but we will still know what to do mm. to be able to go through um, comfortably, let me see. Mm. Let, let, me, let me find out from Melvin. Maybe um, we want to, you know, do some calculations. Uh, you know, 
you are able to determine the strength of the team based on the, uh, I mean, previous uh, uh, um, performance. Let's let's try and see. Um, at this school, for instance, um, yesterday they also qualified um, to the um, to the semi-finals of the ongoing competition. They came up against San Dema Senior High Technical School and then Saint Louis um, Senior High School. San Dema and then Saint Louis, they both had um, 26 points. At this other college, had 58 points. Now let's compare that to. Um, Infant Supreme School. Infant Supreme School came up against two giants, actually, Presec Ligon and then KNUSD SHS. Infant Supreme School managed um, 50 points, managed to score 50 points. Presec Ligon had 34 points, and then KNUSD SHS had 20 points. Um, I mean, comparing the sites that you met in the quarterfinals and then the sites that at this other college met in the quarterfinals, I think yours was a tougher battle. I, I don't want to say so. I don't know if you see it as such. It, it was a tougher battle. Mm. Okay. Mm. Indeed, it was a tougher battle. Mm. Um, you still want me to discuss details of what is happening. <laughs> and I've tried to shy away from it. Um, if, if you look at the two quarterfinal um, yeah. contests, in France, obviously met um, a supposed stronger side. Mm. And they came tougher than what Adisco also encountered. That's true. But before the stage, um, our critics had said that uh, we met a relatively weaker side. Oh, precisely in, in the 1-8. Oh, okay, okay. And then um, Adisco met um, a tougher side. side. Mm. Now, if you look at what we did with that supposed weak team that we met, mm. or weak teams that uh, we met, you realize that um, our performance was far better mm. than when Adisco also had the opportunity to meet what we may want to call yeah. a very weak team. I am mm. not saying that the schools are weak schools, mm. but the team on that day did not gel as expected. Okay. Um, St. Louis, obviously, they were a bad school, and they mm. were yeah. also a yeah. school. Yeah. And so on the day, the two people on stage couldn't gel as expected. And so if you compare how we handled uh, a team that was not gelling, to how I just go handled a team that was more genuine. The difference will tell you that um, we were better. Mm. If you compare our contest with um, the second KNG West team, mm. obviously uh, an upgrade of what we had in the first um, encounter. Yeah. And you compare that to what Adisco also had in the first encounter, which was a tougher side compared to what they had in the second encounter. Yeah. You could still see that we were able to handle a tough contest in mm. a better way than yeah. Adisco did. Yeah. If you look yeah. at the differences in the marks or points yeah. that we had in the speed round, mm. where we had nobody pushing us, I'm talking about uh, Boca girls and yeah. uh, other school, we still picked them up. Mm. Where we had a Presec pushing us, we picked them up. They yeah. rushed to press and they were missing. Yeah. Adisco enjoyed something similar in the second contest they mm. were not having enough push to go ahead yet we didn't see much in terms of um, accumulation in the mm. speed round. Wow. that's why i'm saying that um, we still have a better chance okay <laughs> great already some people are predicting uh, a premper college and then infant spam school you know um, final and the third school some are saying west africa secondary school <laughs> do you see do you, do you see infant spam in the finals with premper college all what we do as a team is based on God, mm. most importantly, is based on our character and it's mm. based on hard work. So we believe that with these people, and most especially God on our side, we yeah. shall see through. You, you so too. But from then was, I believe they are in the same pot, so we <laughs> can't meet in the finals. Oh yeah, that's true. They are meeting in the yeah. semi-finals, so one will definitely, you know, have to go. Anyway, let's um, look at... Um, Ghana National College, um, 45 points yesterday. A big girls, 38 points. University practice, they had 30 points. Ghana National College qualified to the semifinals of the competition. Were you surprised that um, a big girls were kicked out? Oh, well, some people say they were not really surprised because they really did not prove to be a force to reckon with right from the prelims. I believe a, a big girls gave a good account of themselves, especially in the round one, because mm. as you could see, Ghana National were actually training and mm. took the speed that we know yeah Ghana National to help them overtake. But I think a big girls give a very good account of themselves and they deserve they deserve mm. praise. Okay, so Ghana National College, uh, Infant Spim School, and at this other college, they've qualified to the um, semi finals that happened yesterday. Now, let's talk about um, what is going to happen later um, today. We have St. Peter's, and then we have Wesley Girls High School, and then we have St. Thomas Aquinas. That contest is happening at 4 p.m., it's going to be a cracker. <laughs> now, for us to have 
an idea of the performance of the uh, of the schools in their previous contests. St. Peter's in their previous contest at the one eight stage, they had 62 points. The second place school, Jachi Pramso, had 20 points. Now, Wege Hay, um, in their previous contest in the, at the one eight stage, they had 45 points. The second um, place school, Winneba Secondary School, had um, 37 points. St. Thomas Aquinas, in their previous contest, um, had 44 points. They escaped, you know, uh, uh, they went through narrowly because Anglican Senior High School had 43 points. St. Thomas Aquinas had 44 points. Judging from um, the results from the previous contest, St. Peter's, really, um, 62 points, yeah. That's really big. I don't know um, your, wh where your prediction will go. St. Peter's, Wege, or St. Thomas Aquinas? I, I would go for St. Peter's on mm. the evidence of um, the scores so far. Mm. But the contest sometimes changes. Okay. Depending on the kind of questions you get mm. to start with mm. and your opponent's ability. Yeah. If you happen to pick questions from an area you are very comfortable mm. and you are fortunate to have an opponent who is not that comfortable in that area, you take a good lead and chances are that you can maintain that. Yeah. Um, St. Peter's met um, Jache Pram, so anyway, had 62 against 20 or so, yeah. a, a very wide um, gap. It tells you that Jache Pram so didn't push Peter's mm. too hard. And it is also possible you can conclude that uh, Peter's had a very good team. Yeah. They look at Wiki, they met, uh, they escaped me, but yeah. they were really pushed. I think it was 40. Yeah, Wiki. So okay, in the one eight stage. The, 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 the one eight stage, yes. Yeah, one eight stage. They met Winiba actually. Um, they had um, forty five points. Winiba had thirty seven. Winiba isn't a bad team. Yeah, it's not. And they were able to push the girls um, that far. It, mm. it tells that the girls also have something up their sleeve. Mm. But you see, when the girls come up against boys, yeah, and then we get to the speed round stage, exactly. it takes a lot out of them. That's true. And and uh, you find the boys uh, moving far ahead. Yeah. Um, we, we've met Gehe a couple of times, and uh, they're not that bad when it comes to speed. But mm. because of um, the way boys are able to handle the pressure, the, the pre that's that true. comes with that's it, true. they tend to move um, mm. better. Aquinas is also a good team. Aquinas yeah. is good. It, it's going to look like a battle between Aquinas and St. Peter's. Yeah. But when two tough teams meet, mm -hmm. and you have not too weak a team, but another good team in the middle yeah chances are that the two will rush to pick some points mm. and when they miss they drop a point each mm. and the girls if they are good and gay is good yeah they can comfortably pick one point and as you drop one and one left and right they mm. pick one and they keep coming closer mm. if, if they're able to to move closer yeah. in the speed round anything could happen anything as happen. much will depend on the speed round interesting they can keep the pace in the speed round yeah you can expect a surprise. Wow. Let me find out from you, Melvin. Um, Wege Hay, St. Peter's Senior High School, and St. Thomas Aquinas. And Your prediction? It's a very close call, but I, I share the, the view of Ms. Gahou. Okay. It's much, much rest on the speed round. It, it will be tough for, especially Gay, because I, I think the yeah, Because these are two boys' schools. Yeah. yeah. More aggressive, more aggressive um, willing to take the risk, yeah. uh, willing to gamble their points and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Difficult to make a prediction, but if it's based on the scores, I'll go for St. Peter's. But I'm confident that the other two schools can put up a very, very good fight, and if possibly upset mm -hmm. my prediction, you never know. Okay, now let's run through this one quickly. Um, the first contest at 10 a.m. We have Opokuwari School, New Jobin Senior High School, and then Maoli Senior High School. Obviously, it's going to be a fight between Opokuwari School and then Maoli Senior High School because New Jobin in the one eight um, round of competition just had 25, you know, points, um, you know, to qualify. Opoku School had 61 points. They beat a seeded side like GSTS. They had 33 points, but they beat them with 61 points. Maoli School had 44 points. They beat Academy of Christ the King. And Academy of Christ the King, they had 23 points. So um, it's going to be, we're predicting there's going to be a straight fight between Pokuwari School and then Maoli Senior High School. Your prediction, Maoli Senior High School or Pokuwari? I'll go for Pokuwari. Pokuwari. I think I would also go for Pokuwari. Yes, <laughs> Melvin? Probably Opokuwari. Opokuwari. As I always say, yeah. you, can never, you can never just make a prediction like that. Mm. You never know what may turn up on it. Okay. So and then, um